My name is Michelle Moross. And I'm Brian Swanson. And welcome to The Porch. This is Denim and Pearls. Business casual. With Pearls of Wisdom. From The Porch. Welcome to The Porch. Hey, we made it through that time. Yes, we did. Amazing. We're growing up. Yeah. Ooh. We're growing up. We're growing up. So welcome to The Porch. And for those of you who are on there live doing what in the world is going on, this is brought to you by a pre-recorded message from Denim and Pearls. Where do you get that voice from? Here. Oh. Huh. From the deep down. From the deep down voice. <laughs> please, awesome. well, let's start this whole thing off right. Well, we want to please, please ask you, if you're watching this, to please click a little button somewhere on Facebook that says, know when they're going live. Right. And then go to our YouTube channel, because I'm sure Nicholas will, well, one of us will put it up there. Go to the YouTube channel, which is a VIN number, and it's Denim and Pearls Podcast on YouTube. And subscribe and put the little little bell so you know when we come on live. Am I going to have to pay you for advertising? Thank you for reaching. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for reaching Denim and Pearls. Well, today's topic is... Superpowers! Dun, 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 dun. Ta -da! Not those kind of superpowers, unless you can read my mind. Mm. That would be scary. Don't want to do that. I actually know a guy that can do that. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, okay, he's, a so... great, he's a magician, he's an illusionist, and he's a... a, a mind reader kind of guy oh cool yeah it's pretty neat well do you have that kind of superpower we were thinking more normal superpowers normal are, are there normal superpowers if they're normal they're not super no they are super okay because what have you done in your life that you do so naturally so nonchalantly that you don't even think that it's anything it's effortless yes effortless that's big word of the day product. effortless so what you see as ordinary is what other people see as extraordinary what do you do in your world that is that well i don't think i want to answer that question quite yet okay but i think we want to give some examples okay like some people are you know good listeners some people some people are good at technical stuff some people are good at mechanics some people are good at leadership or management or doing business or wait a minute i'm naming all my stuff yeah that's what i was thinking i'm like <laughs> i've got the power so, <laughs> so what other examples might you have since i'm leading into all mine <laughs> well i my superpower is finding other people's superpowers that's what i do as a coach is i listen and i talk to them about what they do and how they do things the thing they do if that means nothing, I just do that all the I just do that on my side gig, but this is what I'm really doing and I'm struggling and da 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 I do stop. Your superpower is the one that does not cause struggle. That makes you a sensei. Oh, like in very good grasa. Yes. Oh, yes, maybe. Is that what you are? That's my superpower. Nice. My superpower is what was he called? I don't know. What I was thinking from the movie Kung Fu back in the seventies. Oh, is the one who always called the karate the karate guy grasshopper. Anyways. Anyway. Yeah. Dojo, uh, no, dojo is the no, place you go. No, but basically, superpowers are whatever you don't see as superpower. You do it so naturally. So the, for those of you who are out there doing, I don't have any superpowers. But when you when you walk into a room and let's say you have small children, what does your kid think you're really good at? Kids see the truth. Kids hate us, though. They don't. Especially hate us. when you're on <laughs> your own. <laughs> but I'm sh I'm sure you know if you're a daddy's girl or a mama's boy, you always look up to your parents. Mm -hmm. But they see you as who you are, and your friends, your real friends, see you as who you really are. What is your superpower? Your superpower half the time is not something you recognize in yourself. Other people tell you, like when I met Brian. Yeah, I don't like you very much, Brian. Don't like you. And, and then you know we start talking. It's like, wait a minute. That's it. Your superpowers. You are really good at such and such. And the reason I didn't like him in the beginning was, I don't do what he does. Now, see that goes into the superpower thing. 
that also goes into finding your 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 team. Yeah, your team to do the things that you don't want to do. You need to find people who complement what you are not good at, right? And right. if you cannot grow that skill, then you partner with people who have that skill. I, even though I have an engineering background, I've lost my ability for technical things. I just don't have the patience for it. So I want to go faster, stronger, faster, and I don't want to think in detail. With Brian, his superpower in my world, for me, is he's a detail guy. He knows this techie stuff. He knows, oh, you need to save it to this file so that this file does this and the video does this. That is not my superpower. <laughs> That'll show up real well on the podcast. <laughs> I was just thinking I was cute. But no, really, what's your superpower? And whenever you're thinking that you're, you're, uh, you feel left out or you feel that you're not doing something right or it's just too hard, it's because you're not working in your, in your space of power. That's really what this whole talk is about. So your superpower is what is the thing that you are so comfortable at, the thing that you do so well that you do, I'll do that later because I can do that really fast. And then you focus on the other thing that works, that takes a lot of effort mm -hmm. and you waste a lot of time. Time, time, time. For those of you who watch us. That was last week. Yes, that was last week that you prioritizing your time. And that's why we got into the whole subject of superpowers was I'm really good at this, so I'm not going to worry about this. I know I can pop that out in like five minutes. I can do that. See, mm -hmm. that's the superpower. Well, I think that's also just plain and simple confidence in yourself. When you know you can accomplish something, you can get the task done, get it out of the way. And again, we go back to that time thing we talked about last week about, you know, the marbles in the jar and all those other kind of things. Get the little stuff out of the way sometimes. And, you know, or I guess the, I always read that thing backwards. You know, you're supposed to put the big task in first and then fill it up with the little task. Well, the little task to me is get things done, get them done quick and fast and get them out of the way. So I look at it from a little bit different angle than the big balls and the little balls in the sand and all that kind of stuff. But if you want to be efficient with your time, you do the big ones that you know will take time. Right. Because you can fill in the sand fast. You can fill in the easy tasks, the things that you're really good at fast. Well, I was terrible at, at that when it could come to college. Really? Why? Oh, yeah. I'm a procrastinator. Well, that's and and when you're a procrastinator, when you're a procrastinator, <laughs> Our producer just no. threw a giant whiteboard at us. <laughs> because so he wasn't a sensei, he was a master. He was a master in kung fu. <laughs> okay. So anyway. Thank you, Master. Yes, yes Grasa. Okay, now I, you're right now. Sorry. Sorry, producer. Oh man. But going back into college, I you know, I did a little bit of college and then I went to the military and I did a bunch of things like that but I always waited to the last minute to do things. I was never one of these ones that will start, we'll do a piece today and a piece tomorrow and a piece the next day. And then, oh, great. We've done six weeks of pieces and now we have a whole project. And that is why Brian and I make good partners, business partners, because I was quite the polar opposite of him in college. Oh. When, the, when the professor <laughs> gave out that syllabus of everything that was gonna be due for the next semester, for the whole semester, I did them. I did them all. I could do that if it was all at once, get them done, get them out of the way. Yeah. But that was, I, I was still procrastinated. I, I mean, I give a, a really good example. Um, I took a course that got my degree, mm -hmm. that I got my degree in, which is computer information systems and management. And no wonder stuff. you're so good at that. <laughs> well, it was all about management and a few other things, but I had somebody else that went through the course before I did, the 15 month course, and they kept telling me, well, you've got to write this paper and you've got to write a paper every week and it takes forever and you've got to do this. You got to, you know how I did my papers? Nah, quick. Oh. I did them on Sunday during the first football game. I actually wrote them out on notebook paper during the second game. I typed them in. And then on Monday morning when I went into work, I, I proofread them and poof, class on Monday night. That, but I did that for 15 months, and we had one project that was supposed to last the entire time, and the other two or three partners that I had, we finished it all up in like a week. Well, that works. I mean, so your superpower was, although you're a procrastinator, you knew how to segment your time. Yes. 
that's a superpower. Now, my, my thing, my superpower <laughs> for in college was it was backwards. I would look at the syllabus and I would work the, work the homework on the syllabus from the bottom up. Why? Because the bottom was the hardest. Mm -hmm. And so I would work at the hardest and what I understood, I would work backwards. And then where I was stuck, I would highlight. So those were the classes I knew I could not miss. Yeah, but wouldn't it have been less time if you would have waited to the end? No, because after because then you have all the knowledge to complete the last. Well, that was my whole thing. I wanted the end. I always kept the end in mind. I always knew what the end was going to be. At the end of the course, I was supposed to be able to do this. So I would go to the hardest stuff and look at that, and then I would work backwards. But I don't think like your average human, and I found that out the hard way. Uh, but I work the hardest first, and. I do that in everything. I look at the far end, what's the worst that's gonna happen or what's the blah, blah, blah. And I work with pieces backwards and do, okay, this is where I'm gonna need help. Who do I know that can help me with that? Oh, so-and-so can help me with that. And I would preface, preface? Preface. Preface, thank It you. depends what side of the country you're from. Okay, I would preface on different helps. So I would do, okay, I know so-and-so could do that. And I know so-and-so could do, okay, how do you do this? And they do, why do you need to know that? Well, I need to, because in a couple of weeks, I'm going to need to know how to do it, and I need to know how to do it now. So I would be ahead of the class because I knew what was coming. I knew what was coming. You, you decided to destroy the curve as much. <laughs> <laughs> you were in high school. You were the person that everybody hated. <laughs> What do you mean you got a 96 on that? Yeah, I did one on purpose. Yeah. I missed one on purpose. Well, I would do it on purpose because I always want, I don't like to be completely taken off guard. So when people say, how do you not prepare for that? How do you, it's because I, I'm an A-B tester. So, so those of you who are in computers, I like to A-B test. I do, does this work? Mm, not so much. How about this one? Does that work? And I would, I would work different things, scenarios in my head. And then I will work towards the one I like the best. See, I hate it. I hated work. But I didn't do it like work. It saved me work because I knew, okay, those first two two uh, weeks of class, not a big deal. I can get extra hours at work. <laughs> <laughs> I had four jobs in college. So my superpower was <coughs> prioritizing very quickly what was needed in my world. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really what I did. I was doing it because I had four jobs. And I was going to school full time and I had, I was in engineering and I needed to know when were weeks that I could say, I can take extra hours. So I had my whole life in my head. It was crazy what I would do to. So how many degrees do you have? Four. Four? Mm -hmm. Oh my. Do you have a master's? Yes. Doctors? No, I stopped that when I got my brain injury. <laughs> oh man. You have a master's. See, you're always one step up. If I was one step up, I'd have a doctorate already. Yeah, and then you call yourself doctor. I call myself doctor. <laughs> Hi, my name is doctor. Doctor what? Doctor love. I don't know. Oh. I can call myself anything I want. And so that's the thing is I realized that I didn't, I didn't need it anymore because I was one of those, when I was younger, everyone called me the scarecrow. You're not tall enough and with fuzzy arms. The Scarecrow from uh, Wizard of Oz. Oh. Why? If I only had a brain. I didn't think I was smart until I had paper. Oh. That's why I overst overstudied. I wanted a piece of paper that said, Michelle is smart. And until I got that paper, I didn't think I was smart. Then I got the paper and I still wasn't feeling smart. So I'm like, now what? Well, when I got my bachelor's, I went up to get my diploma and I went back to the person who was like in charge of us, you know, like a homeroom teacher kind of thing. I went back to her and I says, you know, this has been a whole lot easier, but I just wrote you a check for X amount of dollars. And I could have saved the last 15 months because that's what it meant to me. Mm -hmm. Because the classes were so, I won't say easy, but they were easy. And that's what the thing is. You so know. wherever you're in struggling in and you're thinking, I, I don't, I'm not good enough. I don't have this. I don't, 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 don't. Stop worrying about the don't. Stop complaining about what you don't have and what you think you should have and you don't, okay? Focus on what you have. What are you good at? What are you, what do you excel at? And what do you do that is just exceptionally good? That is your superpower. Okay, and, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at this because we're at our 15-minute mark where we probably should do our little advertising Well, then do stuff. it, Mr. Man. I'm not going to do it because you're the one with the voice. So what I'm looking at is the fact that we're there, but I'm thinking... 
jack all trades master of none. Oh, so I'm a jack I, of all trades. Master. So since I'm a master of none, do I have a superpower? But yes. let's do that right after the commercial. Oh, okay. So give it to us. Thank you for watching <laughs> Denim and Pearls. My name is Michelle Moross, and this is my co-host. Brian Swanson. And we'd love for you to please go to our Facebook page and click the little button that says know when they come on live. Please uh, like our page mm -hmm. and then skip on over to the YouTube page and please like Denim and Pearls. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit and, the subscribe and, button. And hit the little bell that says ding, 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 they're coming on live. And did you know that we edit all of this so that it can go on to Apple Podcast and Spotify? Yeah, we are all so also... So if you don't want to see our pretty little faces or anything, you can just listen to us. Plus, you can probably get rid of like some of the outside noise that we have sometimes. Um, we kind of cut it down and make it a little easier on the ears for the pickup truck. Yes. So thank you for watching <laughs> Denim and Pearls. And today's and topic is superpowers. Nope. Oh, oh, okay. Say that again. Today's topic is superpowers. Awesome. Brought to you by... <gasps> Oh, you almost forgot. Heliopolis rocks. <laughs> Heliopolis. Mm -hmm. Heliopolis rocks. And you can find her. We'll tag her in the post here so that you can find her. But she has our denim and pearls rocks. Oh, I just realized I forgot to do something. What? We need to send her our image. Uh, our pictures, our faces? Our logo. Oh. But our faces no, are no, our no, image. I know, but we just need the denim and curls for the rocks. Oh, okay. Oh, and our um. They're gonna make. She's gonna make pretty rocks for us. Yeah, she's making beautiful. Are rocks they gonna be us. rock ma magnets or what are they gonna be? No, they're just rocks right now. We we just will rocks? check to see if the magnets are are are, are go. Well, hopefully nobody brings them and throws them through our window. Or anything. No, they're little rocks. They'll oh, just the rocks. <laughs> so here's the thing I wanted to ask you uh, a, a question that we if you don't know what your superpower is. Who do you ask? That that is a good question. I mean, I've never actually asked anybody. I told you. You've told me, but you, I didn't ask you. You just told me. <laughs> Benef so, benefits of being Michelle's friend. She yes, tells you the good stuff. She about tells you. me the things. Um, but I think on a day to day basis, on a standard point of view, we don't think about what our superpowers are. We think about what we do, and we go through our day. We get into the rhythm we know what we can do but we don't think about it and we don't really express the fact that we have a superpower because who thinks of that crazy people like me yeah well and that's it you don't have to ask anyone they're going to tell you when you're doing anything and someone says oh thank you so much for saving all that data on my phone ding 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 <laughs> You owe me for that, by the way. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and, you know, that kind of stuff. Or if someone's, you're, you've been walking with friends, da, 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 and then someone says, thank you so much. Uh, I was really worried about all this. And then you said this one thing, and that really helped clarify everything. I feel like I'm not crazy after all. Ding, ding, ding. That was your superpower. You helped identify something. So superpowers don't have to be humongous. They can be very subtle. Mm -hmm. Okay? And, and it's just taking that power that you naturally have that gift that you are naturally endowed with and using it in your own business and so it is tied to your business okay or your life or your relationships if you are a very good listener when things are going crazy in your life you need to learn to turn that power on so that you can listen and figure out what's going on you go, ah this is what's happening and that you can you can you can focus and come back into yourself. Like with me, when things are, all my friends and things like that around me are going crazy, I could do, turn on the superpower. People need me right now. Okay, I'm hearing this from you. I'm hearing this from you. Okay, really what you need to do is you should partner up. Okay, think about this. This, this long-term, I'm really good at the big picture. I, I think some of it though is perception. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You need other Everybody people Everybody else's perception of you. But, That's not always a good thing. No, 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 no. When no, no, people wait. are looking no, at you, when no. people are looking at you, they they make their perception based on their knowledge. They make their perception off of what you are naturally doing. There has been scientific fact uh, proof about this. People who walk into the room, they just walk into the room. Other people will evaluate them within the first thirty seconds. That first thirty second rule tends to be right, and then you do something, and they do. Well, maybe it's this. And then they change. It's that instantaneous thought. It's called charisma. It is charisma. That's the one thing I always wish I had. I'll teach you. Is charisma. Walking into a room, 
walked out and proud and everybody shuts up. I have that. Yeah, they do too. They shut up and look at me and go, what the hell is he doing here? I, I train, <laughs> I train amplifying your magnetism basically. So stick with me, kid. I got you. Uh, so the thing is, is, it's really about being authentically yourself. And, and that's my whole logo, my whole branding of my, my, my private business is be unapologetically you. Mm -hmm. Where we give off the misconceptions and the misperceptions into a room. It's because we come in fearful. We come in thinking something else and we project out our insecurities. And so that's what people read. But if you come into a room owning who you are and what you are and what you do, you push off that superpower. Who are you? Yeah, sometimes it comes across as arrogance. <laughs> I'm really being the devil advocate it, on it, this it, one. Well, but <laughs> It could. It really could. It depends. Um, my, my biggest thing when I, when I tell my clients is when you walk into a room, you don't come into the room saying, I'm better than everybody in the room. Okay? Oh, Superman no. does not come into the room and say, dun, 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 Superman, I'm better than everyone. No, he comes <laughs> in as Clark Kent, right? This mild-mannered reporter. He does it because if he came in as Superman, everyone would do, oh, we're not worthy. And that's not him. He says, as I personally, in my opinion, him and, uh, and, um, and uh, Wonder Woman are the, the top of the top of the top. No one can beat these two, okay? So if they came into we'll the We'll find room, out in 1984. Mm -hmm. That's the new Wonder Woman movie oh, coming okay. out. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Those two superhumans, peak of the world, amazing people, okay? Okay, they're fictitious, but amazing people. What, but they're good examples. What Just characters, because they're fictitious. What characters <laughs> do they come into normal public with? Princess. No. What's her name? No. She's Diana. Diana. Princess. She's a princess. She's Diana Prince. Oh, that's it. <laughs> and who used to do comic con stuff? <laughs> I might have to disown him. Yeah. Diana Prince. She was a very posh polished woman right and she was very quiet she was an observer same with Clark Kent Superman he didn't come in as Superman came in as Clark Kent a mild-mannered reporter just an ordinary nice guy they were just nice people helping out and what did they do when they turned into their super version of themselves kick butt and throw trains they would go away turn back into their personalities right their real personalities and come back in and kick butt and take names uh -huh. so when you have your superpower and you come into a room and you are turning people off and they're thinking you're arrogant that's because you're coming in saying i am better than you da, da, da. no come in like a superman and a wonder woman and do you know what i'm just like you i may be from i may be part god i may be from another planet but i'm just another human like you no one is better than anyone no one is lesser than anyone we are all just different on diff we're just differently on different paths we're on the same path but right. different guidelines or, or mile markers so just because you think you're better than someone else you better pull that back because everyone's feeling it from you okay before we wrap this up into the the thing of summarizing everything that we talked about and all yes. of our superpowers and how to take advantage of it. What about the other side of it? What if you don't have a superpower? Everyone has a superpower. And I, well, I, everybody has a superpower. I would, I agree with you, but there's certain things that we do that we we're not good at. Then don't do that. So in business, that's where we take and find somebody else to do it for us. No, that's why it's called the Avengers. A right. Justice League. You, I mean, all of these. <laughs> this has become a superhero. It is <laughs> because all these superhumans, all these superpowered people, they don't come out and just do everything by themselves. The only one who did that was Batman, and what was his issue? He Ego. He didn't have any superpowers. Yes, he put, he had a suit that did everything. Uh -huh. so my thing is, is even superheroes needed partners. Even superheroes came together to be a stronger unit. Well, Batman needed Alfred. Well, because he needed someone sane to balance him. So just and Iron like Man needs Pepper. Someone sane to balance him. Uh -huh. And so that Michelle, Brian, someone sane to balance. <laughs> <laughs> we got this one wrong. <laughs> but see, that's the thing. When you have your superpower, it's what comes naturally. The things that don't come so naturally, it's called building a team. Build your team of other people with superpowers that you don't have. So that together, you can all work together and grow that, that entrepreneurial business, that business, whatever you're doing, to be stronger, faster, better. And 
remember, ask people who actually care about you for help. Because if you go to anyone for help, okay, you can get burned. Many of us, who's been burned? Yeah, you can get burned when you trust the wrong people. Yeah, but that makes it get scary. Life is Because scary. if you ask your wife her opinion, no, you might get the truth. <laughs> Well, the truth is good, but no. As for people, the truth hurts people sometimes. in your world, people in your business world, people who you you've uh, bounced ideas off of, mm -hmm. ask them, because they don't want you to fail, and they want you to succeed with them. And say, listen, you have something that I don't have, and I really need that 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 quality in you to help my business grow. And together, we will grow our businesses. Find those people and you can feel them. You can feel those people and for those think heavy thinkers. Watch the watch those people who you're like, you know what? I like what they're doing. I want I want more. I want to know how they're doing it. Talk to them. Because leaders, real leaders, like to grow other leaders, like to help other people. And I, I would say, you know, a lot of those things that we try and get help with, sometimes it costs us money to do them. Mm -hmm. um, but other times it costs too much money and yeah. we ignore it. Yeah. No, we we have a tendency to ignore it and try to do it ourselves. Well, we all know what happens when we do that. It has a tendency to take us a whole lot longer to do something. It takes us to educate us, educate ourselves when we could have just simply brought somebody in and get it done. Well, whether it's marketing, I mean, not everybody knows marketing. Just setting up my computer. Okay, for the past two weeks, Brian's been fixing my computer. It's been mm -hmm. oh, it feels like two weeks. Okay, okay so here's the thing. <laughs> get help ask yes. from the help from the right people so like with me i set up my computer thought i did it right forgot what email i set it up so set up another email set up another thing and i i've done like four different emails for four different platforms and i had no idea how anything was tied together i am not a computer person i run into this guy and i realize he's playing on a computer like it's like lego sets and i'm like can you help me with that he has uh, yeah, I do it in my sleep. I do. Really? Here, here's my this eyes mess. Tied behind my back. Yeah, there are his eyes. But see, that's the thing is he has a, a he can balance what I cannot do. So he just fixed something that I spent years destroying, not knowing mm -hmm. it, and fixed it all in a night and a half, maybe. Yeah, so like surround yourself with people who are smarter than you that you do not think that that they think are you're smarter than them. Well, you're that's why you're here. Yeah. They haven't said why you're here. Why am I here? They haven't said your superpower yet. I have multiple superpowers. You have multiple superpowers. Mm -hmm. You're the motivation. I'm not motivation. Yes, you're my motivation. No, I'm You're the one who says, you know, I would really like to do this. And then you give me an idea. And then I got to move forward with it. I'm inspiration. Motivation comes from within. Uh, no, it's the other way around, I think. No. Yeah. I inspire you to do more. Uh, well... <laughs> Either way, you push me forward. It's my superpower. Or pull me forward. What did I say? My actually, my, you always pull. You never I push. Pull. I pull. You can't push forward. My superpower is seeing other people's gifts. So if you ever get stuck and you're like, I have no idea and I'm lost, I'm telling you, get on my my. I'm gonna plug myself. Get on my website and get on my 15 minute uh, consult, and I can tell you. You tell me a bit of your story and I will find your superpower within 15 minutes. Well, fine. That's fair. Get on mine and I can tell you what your finances look like. Yeah, get on his. <laughs> on my on my website. What's that, your website? Huh? What's your website? I can't say. Oh, it's got a name to it. Yeah, Just you have message to hook, him. Message me. Message him on Facebook. Message yeah. us through Denim and Pro and say, hey, Brian. Yeah, because it's one of those sub pages of a major company that I've been working for for 20 years. And they don't like us talking about the name when it's something personal or public okay. like this. So message him if you have any other questions. And if you want to get on my calls, just message me because I'm doing group calls. And we'll we'll yeah. start group calls. Or just go to Denim and Pearls and say, hey, y'all. It's us. We're answering. Y'all. It's just us looking at it. We haven't brought yeah. anybody in to do our stuff yet. We're not that famous. Y'all come back We're now. You hear? <laughs> you sound like you're from New Orleans or something. I am kind of. Louisiana. Nolans. Nolans? Yeah, Nolans. Do you eat gator? I do eat gator like and gator? frog legs. Oh, frog legs. I love frog yeah. legs. Gator and what's those things? Crawdads? Crawdads. Crawhappers? Yeah. <laughs> the poor man's lobster? Crawfish. Crawfish? Is that what it is? Yeah, Craw crawdads crawfish. or crawfish? crawfish what's the difference? Uh, where the region you're in. We have digressed. Digressed.
we, we switched off. I think it's kind of, I like talking about food. <laughs> we'll talk about food. There's my there. other superpower, food and beer. <laughs> my, my superpower is, yeah, my superpower is uh, I grew up in the Philippines and I've been drinking alcohol since I was 12. And so alcohol doesn't really mess with me. Mm, we better get that tequila out. I'm an expensive date. I'm an expensive date. Oh, yeah? yeah? Louis the 13th, here I come. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Louis the 13th is like $1,000 a shot, something like oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it's some really good stuff, yeah. I guess. Yeah. 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 So I, and now I've got a song going through my head. I'm Henry VIII. I am Henry VIII. <laughs> I, I am. I am. am. <laughs> I don't know why that came in my head. <laughs> so, so find your superpower. Find your superpower. You've got to find your superpower. Once you find your superpower, then you can get further in life. Yes. And further in business because you know who you are. You know who you are. And when you're stressed out, you're like, I have no control of what's going on. Remember, you only have control over yourself. Mm -hmm. You have no control over the other person. And you have no control of what the God and the universe is doing. So control how you react, how you feel, how you respond to stressors. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to focus back on what's your superpower. Because you can fall back on your superpower to give you the strength to make through all the other things. Should I dress up like Wonder Woman? No. Oh, okay. Just checking. <laughs> That's fear. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wonder Woman. Okay. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us on Denim and Pearls. Like and share. Uh, yes. And subscribe. subscribe. Ring hey. the bell. Ding, 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 ding. We are Business Casual Conversations. What? You we're, surprised me with that. We're business casual. casual. With pearls of wisdom. From the porch. And, uh-oh. Oh, I didn't bring mine. When you're lost and confused and you don't know what to do, put on your sunglasses and be cool. <laughs> your future is that really that bright? Yes, your future is that bright. Nice. Superpowers, go find them. Peace out. Peace out.